hi and assalamu alaikum to everyone so in this tutorial i will show with you all and i will share with you all the simplest and easy one tutorial for the molecular docking using autodoc vina so first of all what we need to prepare so what we need to have actually we need to have the ligand in PDB structure so most of the ligand in SDF file so we need to convert it into PDB files so our protein in PDB files so in this uh, tutorial uh, the protein uh, that I will use is um, human serum albumin and then the ligand is jazepam and then uh, files for the vena so vena files and then the vena split that we can download directly from the portals of vena or to the vena so also the config files uh, these config files are for comments so let's start for doing these tutorials so i will open the autodoc tools so autodoc tools actually we use it for removes some of the ligands or any extra structure that we do not need so in these cases uh, I will remove the water molecule and also the chain A for we only using so for the chain A uh, in this structure so it's minute so it's take uh, some time for this okay this is my auto dot tool so i enlarge it for you all so okay first of all you need to add uh, our macro molecule structure which are our protein here so just click the file and the read molecules okay where is our files so in these cases i will put all my file in my desktop so it's easy for me to find it so this is my protein so open it okay this is my protein so my protein have a two chain which is a chain a and chain b how i know about it so just click here so uh, so this is chain a and chain b uh, i do not need the chain b so i need to remove it so i just select here okay it will help to select here and then we edit and then i will delete the selected atom so continue okay it will delete the chain uh, B here because the chain A and chain B actually the homolog so we only need the chain A here so after that I will remove the water because it will interfere the docking simulation so click the edit and then delete water here so done delete the water most of the pdb structure do not have the hydrogen so we need to add it so uh, we click the edit and then hydrogen and then we add the polar only so click ok after that i will add the charge for this uh, structure so I will add here is for common charge because it's for micromolecule which is specific for the peptide. So it's actually for uh, it uh, the template value for each amino acid they were derived from the corresponding electrostatic potential using the quantum mechanic. So in these cases our protein is peptide so we need to add the common charge. So add the charge here. So add the common charge. So total common charge added is one. Okay. So and next, I will save a this file into a PDBQT because in the auto doc vina command we need PDBQT file. So how to do that? So I just click the grid here, and then 
macromolecule and then choose so here our files protein and then select molecules so I wait in our organization so it said here it contain no non-bonded return so everything here is already bonded so okay so I will save it into the same same place where I put all my files so so here so I just put a uh, protein PDB cutie file so save so it already saved for the PDB QT. So in this uh, docky, I'll also specific for uh, site two because I'll, my ligand actually already known. It will bind to the site two of the my protein. Uh, this protein has uh, two means of the binding site and one of other uh, binding site also. It's very important. So in this cases, my ligand will bind to the site two. So I will make a grid box to make it specific to that site. So how? So first, I will click the grid and then open the grid box. So where uh, where I need to put the grid box? So I will uh, use my previous paper. Um, previous paper to as a reference so here they use the 70 for the the size of the box so use the 70 just drag it so it is okay use 70 and also for the y 70 and here is 70 so for the grid space so same as here and then for the coordinate so I will change it into 40.42 here for the uh, coordinate y I will use 23.50 and also 23.31 so this is my protein as you can see here uh, so my protein is very very special because it in the heart shape uh, so this side is uh, for the side 2 and this side actually for the side 1 and above here is side 3 and other side also uh, the ligands also binds so in these cases I will specify for the site too. Okay. So just click add here. Okay. So um I will add my ligand here. So just click ligands input and then open. So where is my files? So this so so this PDB so this is my ligand open this teacher charge actually on the basis electromagnetic equilibration so it's specific for our ligand so but if your ligand is in the short peptide so you need to use the Coleman charge here so that's okay <coughs> so how we want to see either uh, this ligand have the rotatable rotatable bond or not so we click ligand and then torsion tree and then we choose we choose torsion <coughs> So here my ligands have a uh, one rotatable bond and uh, it's color with the green and then the none for the magenta and the red is for an rotatable bond. So we done here. So I will save my uh, ligands into PDBQT. So I just click 
ligands and then I will click output and save as a PDB queue D. so we'll save the save as on my here so I will save so actually we done for preparations of our ligand and proteins here next we will open the comments what inside of your config files so you must have your receptor for the protein and the ligand files and your output the result from your auto.vina output name for these files and then for the center xyz the coordinate for each grid box and then size xyz and then exhaustiveness the maximum is add and then the seed so how to open our comment here so just um, So I will open my command prompt here. For the Mac OS user, you need to open your terminals. So this is my command prompt. So I already open the command prompt. So just type cd desktop enter and then cd tutorial enter. So this is our files so what I need to do I want to drag this vina file inside here ok so enter so already give our sums of the uh, in the information we require for the config file so you can refer here so next we will type vina exe dot dash dash and then config and then our config files now dot dx eh, dxd and then log and then log dot txt so enter so it will take some time for right for run the auto dot vina for us here Just wait for the few minutes it will settle for us so actually the uh, auto dot vino actually very fast and easy and very helpful for us for the beginner in doing the docking simulations so if you want to uh, know more about the vina so you just uh, you can refer that uh, book here eh, the paper here the auto dot vina so actually done here so this is our results so what more why the highest of the binding here the strongest one so is the best confirmations for ligands to dock into our protein so okay so uh, our output here so it will come out with here so you can also see the result for this one into the text file so this one logs uh, so this is our result okay and then actually for this is a uh, for the confirmation for all of our mod here we have nine here but if you want to split it so you can uh, also do that using these files of vina split 
so how to do that so just click the just tap for the vina underscore split let's go split and then dot uh, exe so input the file which are the our output file which is here in our case is my output is all pdbqt so I just start for the all all pdbqt so click enter so uh, it will coming out with the alls of our ligands here we have nine so you can uh, do the post analysis using one by ones of it for the upcoming video i will show to you all how to uh, visualize our result for the autodoc vina here using the playmall and also using the camera thank you for watching my video if you have any question and anything you want to ask to me just leave in the comment section below see you in the upcoming video so bye